Hey guys, what's going on? Handyman coming at you today. Uh, got a video I want to bring to you today. I want to talk about a new cook kit that I've come up with. Uh, I've always been a fan of canister stoves, but uh, recently wanted to get into some dry baking. So to do dry baking, I felt like I needed an alcohol stove. I uh, looked at several different models, uh, made some myself, and I finally settled on a, on a company, uh, woodgasstoves.com. Uh, I got them to send me a fancy fee stove. I played with it for a while, really liked it. Uh, didn't dry bake real good with it. So I came across another stove that they had called the Starlight XL3. That's what I'm gonna show you today. Uh, but anyway, this is my new cook kit. Uh, this thing weighs 9.5 ounces. That's without the fuel. Uh, what I have here is just a, a DIY lid, a little measuring cup, mini bit lighter, pot stand. Here's the stove. I've got a, a dry baking ring. This is a 10 cm uh, dry baking dish from batchstoves.com. Carbon felt for a windscreen, and then a 12 cm Amusa pot. Uh, like I said, all together this weighs 9.5 ounces. Uh, you know, I could certainly leave this at home if I wasn't planning on dry baking, uh, which this, I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. The stove itself is primarily what I'm wanting to talk about. And this is, like I said, the Starlight XL3. A little alcohol stove, weighs 0.9 ounces, that's with this lid. This stove can be used as a fuel canister. Uh, you can, I mean, you can store your fuel in here. You can, it, it'll hold three ounces of fuel. You can fill it up, bring your water to a bowl. You can blow it out, let it cool down, put the lid back on, and you still have unused fuel in there that's ready to be used the next time. So far, it's working out great. Uh, like I said, a little... DIY pot stand that goes with it. And what I have found is that about an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter above the stove is where it seems to perform real good. So anyway, we're gonna boil some water. I've got 12 ounces of tap water. I don't know what the temperature is. It just came right out of my tap. I know a lot of people use two cups. Uh, personally, I've never had a meal that I had to have two cups of water. Um, none, really none of my meals even take 12 ounces. We're going to do one ounce of heat. Pour it right in there. The stove lights so easy. It's got a little copper wick. Um, it's lit. Pot stand. I'm gonna put the lid on. Started my timer. Even though there's no wind in here, this just Carbon felt windscreen just helps helps retain some heat. All right, so not gonna bore you with the details of sitting here waiting on it to boil. When it starts getting close, I'll get back with you. Just wanted to show you guys the flame pattern that this stove produces. Uh, they recommended this stove for dry baking. They said it was it was perfect for dry baking because. It doesn't burn 
as hot. The flame's not as big as like a fancy feast stove. Um, I'm gonna tell you what, the customer service that I've gotten from woodgasstoves.com has been just outstanding. Um, there's a lady there by the name of Bridget, I believe. We've emailed back and forth. We've talked on the phone. Uh, very good to answer questions. Um, she knows a lot about alcohol stoves. So look this company up, place an order. Hey guys, just, just for reference, I went ahead and I weighed these two items. Uh, like I said, you only need this if you're dry baking. So probably won't take this on every trip. These two items came in at two ounces. Uh, so without that in my, in my cook kit, that makes my cook kit weigh 7.5 ounces. I think that's pretty lightweight. Um, so anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. Okay guys, we're almost at eight minutes. It is not boiling yet, but it's starting to make that that gurgling sound, a lot of bowls. So we ought to be boiling just any minute now. All right, here we are at nine minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see what we're doing. Oh yeah. All right, so we got a bowl at nine minutes and 30 seconds. Now, I will say this. You can boil water faster if the pot is sitting closer to the stove. But I have found with dry bacon, if the pot sits too close to the stove, it gets, it gets hotter, quicker, and it burns what I'm trying to dry bake. Um, so I had to raise it up a little bit so I could dry bake. So, you know, I may have to wait one minute longer for my water to boil. Like I said, I'm probably never gonna boil 12 ounces of water anyway. Uh, the most water I'm gonna boil is, or not even boil, would be for a cup of coffee. Um, most of my meals take, you know, six, eight, 10 ounces of water. So I think this is gonna be a real good stove. Uh, I've done some dry baking with it. Probably gonna make a video on that. Um, so far, everything's turning out real good. Anyway, we reached a bowl at nine minutes. This was one ounce, 12 ounces of water. Let's see. We're at 11 minutes. And as you can see, we still got a good flame going. Water still boiling. So that one ounce of fuel seems to be pretty efficient. Mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to show you what I was talking about with this stove. Get my pot out of the way. Uh, I know I've got my head cut off, but that's okay. Right. We've still got fuel in there. You can blow it out. Whatever fuel is left, like I said, once once it once it cools off, you just put the lid on there. You can't do it now; it'd melt. Um, and then whatever fuel is left, you can use for the next time. So we're going to see. Hold on. Going to see if it'll light back up. I've not tried this. Look at there. Um, so that's pretty handy. Uh, you know, you put an ounce of fuel or two ounces of fuel in there, and let's say you are just, you know, heating up enough water for a cup of coffee. You don't have to worry about wasting all that excess fuel. Just blow it out, let it cool, put the lid on there. Uh, you know, somebody else in camp wants a cup of coffee or, or whatever, you just light it back up. I think that's a, a great feature of this stove. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Um, Starlight XL3 alcohol stove. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to
to their website in, in the description below. It's woodgasstove.com. Uh, check them out. I think this is going to be a great product. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment. Uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you down the trail.